You're not a real award until someone protests you. Like Marlon Brando sending a Native American civil rights activist to accept his 1972 Best Actor Oscar. So if you're a Canadian Music Award, having Anne Murray boycott you for a decade is probably the realest you can get. Canadians have a reputation. We mostly try to avoid conflict. We mostly stayed out of the invasion of Afghanistan in 2001. Drake is our hardest rapper. Lloyd, my man, what's up, baby? Excuse me, Drake, but did I not make myself clear about the time of our meeting this evening? Uh, what are, you, what are you talking about? Call of Duty. But the Juno Awards have not been without controversy in their 45 years. Weirdly starting with Anne Murray, who boycotted from 1975 to 1985 because she straight up thought that the show was Bush League. She won numerous awards during that time and eventually returned in 1986 to win some more awards and introduce Bob Dylan, who was inducting Gordon Lightfoot into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. When asked, who is your favorite songwriter? Gordon said, of all the multitudes around, I'd have to go with Bob Dylan. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Dylan. The most famous Juno diss, at least if you're my age and were super into Northern Touch in high school, came when the Rascals rejected their award for best rap recording in 1998. The award was given out during the untelevised technical awards the night before the TV show, and they alleged that this was basically racist. The move sparked a significant conversation about the state of Canadian hip hop in mainstream culture, and rap moved to the broadcast in 1999. Right up there with Anne Murray in the really category is Stompin' Tom Connors, a defining Canadian if there ever was one. Except Stompin' Tom returned all six of his Junos in 1978, protesting the awards going to Canadians who had moved out of Canada. And the boycott continued until his death in 2013 when he left instructions that the show was not to honor or celebrate him. So since there's no Juno footage of Stompin' Tom, here is a very, very cool entrance that Ronnie Hawkins made in 1981. They're sort of boys. Matthew Good never showed up when he won for Best Group and Best Rock Album in 2000. He also boycotted in 2003 when Weapon won for Best Music Video. At least he stuck to his guns, unlike Cardinal Officiel, who claimed in 2006 he was never going to go to the Junos again. But then he kept winning Junos, and so he started showing up. Which is great, because Cardi rules. What do you think? Do Juno boycotts make a point? How good is Northern Touch? Leave a comment and let us know what you think, and make sure to subscribe to Juno TV for more Juno action all year round.